Boo, so scary. Alan Wake 2 is a scary game. I would advise, please don't play if you don't like scary games. But for those who want to play, I have few very good tips to play this game on high resolution and high settings. So watch this video to the end. Welcome back gamers. Alan Wake 2 is out from past few weeks, so let's start taking a look at this most highly rated game. And we will learn how to get max performance out of your systems. First we'll try 1080p, no FSR, no fluid motion, no V-Sync, high preset and I've already increased power limit to max in MSI Afterburner, which I will show you in detail in the end of this video. We are getting around 35 FPS, which is a normal performance for RX 6600. Most of monitors and LEDs can show 60 plus FPS easily. Expert gamers prefer 60 plus FPS, and this also depends on your hardware and settings. Luckily, we found a very good feature in Radeon settings, which is AMD Fluid Motion Frames which we will discuss in detail in the end of this video. Here, enabling fluid motion frames with anti-lag almost double the FPS. 60 plus FPS, wow! This is amazing, we have increased our FPS easily without FSR support. Fluid motion boost is driver-based, not like FSR which is limited to few games. AMD has not released fluid motion drivers officially, but for experts, they released as preview driver. Way to download preview driver, we added the link in the description. Preview drivers are in constant improvement, but working fine for us. It's very easy to install preview drivers after downloading from AMD website. You can install preview driver like normal drivers. And then you would be able to enable fluid motion feature with anti-lag. Believe me, it's worth a try. There is still some juice in the settings like we have not enabled FSR yet. So we can crank up the performance and quality. If we increase the resolution to 1440p, leave other settings same, no FSR, no V-Sync and leave high preset like before. FPS drop back to around 30. No, 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 this is not acceptable. And we can still increase FPS with 1440p resolution. So here we'll enable FSR 2.0 in quality mode. Leave the other settings same with high preset. Wow, once again, FPS increased around 60 which is awesome. Image quality definitely better than 1080p, probably less than native 1440p. What? FPS just hit 100. Did you see that? There is a minor sluggishness which is bearable. I think this is the sweet spot. 1440p and 60 plus FPS, nobody will believe that. RX 6600 can perform that good. In Far Cry 6, we noticed that FSR quality was better than native. This game just released an 10th update yet we will definitely see more improvement in the game and fluid motion preview driver as well. This is awesome. Thanks fluid motion and FSR. So we able to play high end games on budget PC. Alan Wake 2 graphics are amazing and worth to play in highest possible resolution with high settings. And this all we can do with fluid motion and FSR. The vegetation, water quality, characters detail and their clothing looks wonderful. Here we will test some other settings if we could juice out a bit more. If I turn off fluid motion and drop FSR to performance,
FPS drops around 45, which is not good. If I drop settings to medium, FPS still around 50, and the image quality movements have not much improvement. So dropping frames to improve little quality is not acceptable. So let's move back to sweet spot settings, which are high preset and FSR to quality. Enable fluid motion frame. The FPS are back to normal, which are 60 plus. The picture quality and resolutions are so amazing, we can have the best image quality. The movements not the best, but still very impressive performance. In the start, I committed, I will tell you in detail about AMD Fluid Motion Frame and how to overclock. For all this awesome performance, it's not only hardware. We had to do some extra work too. AMD has not published Fluid Motion drivers yet, but they publish preview drivers for expert users, so they can test and provide their feedback. We downloaded preview drivers already and you have judged the performance too. I have given the link in description where you can download those drivers. The latest available version is 23.30.01.03. It's still in the process of improvement. But for us, most of AAA games work with it. It doubles FPS in most of games, not like DLSS and FSR are limited to some games. It has some limitations too. It will work only with RX 6000 and RX 7000 series GPUs. You will have to turn off VSync and it will work in full screen gameplays and will only show right FPS with Radeon overlay. After downloading, it is recommended to DDU previous driver. Installation is same like normal and drivers. Here you can see we already installed latest version. We also powered off RX 6600 in MSI Afterburner, which is very simple. Increase the power limit to max your GPU, enable automatic fan settings and press the apply button. No overclocking or undervolting this method is easier and more authenticated. Just keep eye on the temperatures. Under Gaming tab, press Graphic button. Where you can enable fluid motion and anti-lag. Leave the other settings disabled. You can enable these settings in each game as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Happy gaming everyone.